Yo, ratings, this is Garth R.S. the Tiles Adventure with another episode of Feed the Beast Single Player, episode 60. <laughs> Disorientation is complete. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm pretty much out of courts. Um, I'm pretty much full on uh, monster juice. Uh, I'm pretty much just, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Um, Alright, let me show you what I've done. Uh, phase 1 is complete, I think. I think the learning is pretty much done up all the way. There's a few things I'd like to try to figure out, but for the most part, I do believe that this is, for all intents and purposes, moderately understood. <coughs> and um, you'll notice from all the cobble that I've been doing something cobble-related, Bill Phil says, first and blarg. Welcome to the new age. Do, 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 do. All right, so basically what I've done is I've taken this bottom one and I've put in protection ones in there because I get a skadoosh amount of them. Uh, protection two is going to appear, protection two and three, and then up here is just like, you know, different things and whatever, you know. And some of them fill up rather quickly. I mean, as you come over here, skadoop, do, 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 do. Let's see what this one is. Uh, feather falling one and two and thorns just filled up. So they're fast, super fast. Gone through a couple of stacks of books, and there's a few things that I have learned. You'll notice I don't have that, that many levels, and I will show you why. So we have Efficiency 2 and Sharpness 1 here, totally unrelated. However, and uh, let's see, however, I need sticks. Where are your sticks? I want to stick. I want to stick in your face with the thing that you do for the things. All right, so come over here. I'm going to put this in here like this. And uh, actually, I just need a crafting window. That's all I really need. So let's just go skadoosh. That is completely incorrect. All right. And now I can put this over here and this over here and then go sword. Got like a stone sword. I'm totally going to waste this. All right. And we'll just hit the button. Skadoosh. Stone sword. All right. So we come over here and you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, I can't put efficiency on a sword. So what are you going to do with that? Well, here's how we do that. you got the sword there, and you put this here like this, and it says for two levels, you can have a sharpness one. So that's how we're going to get rid of the efficiency on that book. But you're saying, well, now you got it on a sword, right? I'm like, yeah, I totally know that. But if you come over here with another sharpness, thusly, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if it works. No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> that's, not, that's not even a sword. <laughs> it's like, why ain't it working? All right, so we get this up there. We have sharpness one in there. Boom, done. Now, we totally lost the efficiency, but that's cool because we have another sharpness here. Let's see what we get now. Oh, now we have a sharpness too. So you can, what you can do is you can put um, the books in there with items. This is so many times I've used it. It's already cracked. <laughs> I have gone through quite a few levels of experience. Look, I have three quarts and one quarts of dust left. I am... I am completely insane with ME now. I'm like, blah, I had to take a break. Like, uh, who was it who said it? Uh, somebody said it. I believe it was uh, Will136 says, hey, great video as always. Think you could use a break from the tech stuff and maybe go exploring or work on your atlas. Have fun. Whatever you do, we'll be watching. Which, by the way, was the 11th comment and the final comment. And as you can see, I've started um, the second leg. This is just a skeleton to, to give me something to work off of. What it's going to do is it's going to come from the hip down to the knee, and then the foot is going to be back here somewhere. Effectively, what I've done is I went up to the knee, and I marked my, I believe it's the X position, and then I went back to the, the very end of the thigh, and it marked the X position again. So I know approximately how long it is, so then I measured down this way and realized that if the knee went all the way to the ground the thigh was going to be way too long and it was going to look wrong. So what I decided to do, and this is just kind of the start of it, but I created almost like a pedestal for him to be kneeling on. So he's going to have his knee on that and his foot probably back there somewhere, probably off to the side, not not do behind him. But, it's <coughs> but that's the premise. <laughs> and over here is something brand spanking new. Train! Brand spanking new. I had all that glass viewer to my, you know, and I thought to myself, we got to use it. So this is what I did. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look cool, man. Look at that. They're burning until they get killed to death. I don't even care. I've got so much monster juice. Let them die. Let them die a horribly painful death. You're like, well, how are you working all this crap out? Well, let me show you. 
Alright? First of all, I did that transformer thing like I was saying. I brought it all over here. And I ran all of these over here like that. Actually, let me turn these off so we can have some fun. This one is, is kind of a pain in the butt. I literally have more blaze rods than I know what to do with. So I've, I've got some of them going to the grinder. Like I have this keeping, what is it, eight, eight stacks in the chest. And, and there's, of course, four stacks in the thing. Whatever, dude. Oh, I turned you on. My bad. You're supposed to be off. And um, here's the power flow. I added a second MFE here because I was losing basically about halfway through the night when I'm, when I'm working. Instead of going to the bed and sleeping right away, um, this battery was completely depleted. And it was running off of this, and this wasn't kicking out enough juice. So, mm, there is that, of course. And then here's the liquid tesseract, so these feed into there like that. I have both a sorting machine and a manager pulling out of here. Because the manager was only able to really... Not really effectively handle anything, so... All by itself, it wasn't doing nothing. So I put the sorter in there on full stack withdrawal, nothing special. Um, this is allowed to accept blaze rods. And it does, it's kind of like an overflow. Uh, it's labeled as one. This one, of course, being zero. Uh, and then over here, we have two twos. There's a two. And there's a two. So what happens is basically, this is the highest priority. It says, give me, give me eight stacks. Everything else goes here. And... And if this thing is currently working on something, as you can see, it's feeding them out slowly one at a time. And as they come back, if this is currently busy, it'll just shunt them down this way. And this is allowed to accept pretty much anything. And down here, only bones are allowed. So, that's... What are you doing down here, Betsy? Now you're a dead Betsy. Mm-hmm. That's right. Anyway, so this is the premise right here. See? See, if it's busy, it shoots them down this way, and they get turned into scrap, which I am A-OK -okay with, because I have oodles of blaze rods. So let's go upstairs and find out how this is done, right? Let's find out how it's done. Let's see what Garth has done. All right, first of all, uh, this is the same premise as before, except they're stacked vertically. Um, this is the on-off switch for the blaze spawner. This is the on-off switch for the zombie spawner, and of course the uh, skeleton spawner is right there. So let's have a quick look at what Garth did, because he did things, and I don't even care about that sort. Let's go. Um, put you up there, and here we go. Oh, and I got a, an, an oh crap! I got another neat little trick to show you guys. I totally screwed that up. <laughs> I totally fell down in the hole. <laughs> Duh, that was stupid. Why did you do that, Carl? I don't even know. Okay, um, Deadly Souse says, Second, whoop, this mod's still confusing to me, but it'll be all right now. <coughs> to the D20 zombie live stream. That's right, yeah, that's right. I play Dungeons and Dragons. What are you going to say about it? I just picked that up. No, I didn't. Cool. All right, so anyway, uh, this is two layers thick. Effectively, their entire spawning radius is filled in with stuff. Or it's open right here. And this is a blaze spawner. They can spawn in this basically 5x5x3 five by five by area. And this thing right here kills them and spits the junk out the junk. And the junk goes into that. Second floor works very much like the first floor in that it works like the first floor. I thought that was pretty obvious. But, you know, it's, it looks the same up there up top. So that is that is how that is running up on her, up on her. And I encased these because I kept walking by and picking stuff up. So now it's completely encased. I added, as you can see, quite a few more of these because I was literally running out of power. So I had, I, I had to beef up the power production on that because it was... I, I might have to move from uh, commercials to industrial soon because those things I don't need. I don't need you. I have an abundance of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have a full barrel of uh, this stuff. Uh, God, my brain's not working. Mm, bone meal. And this, see, it's still full. It's still full of bone meal. So i got to find something. You know, let me get rid of some of this. And this should definitely help. So that's, that's the problem. I had to actually turn off skeleton production because my bone meal fills up so fast. Let's see. Boom. Okay, so there we go. 
There we go. All right. That's definitely going to be good. There we go. Let's see what's up. Come on back here. I need more stuff. Give me more stuff. Give me more stuff now. Give me more stuff. Boom. All right. So let's pull those out of there. That's good. That's totally good. Actually, let's just put these in here. And as you can see, as soon as the fertilizer production kicks back in, the farm goes nuts. This pig is trying to steal my wheat. I'm going to kill it. I don't know why. What are you guys doing in there? Seriously. You're jerks. Get out of there. Get out of there. Stupid face. You're a stupid face. Literally. Stupid face. I don't want your poop. What are you doing? God, there's so many of them. Yeah, I should definitely watch this. Yeah, I filled up so many freaking soul stones. It's not even funny. Let's see what happens. Here it comes. Alright. It's going to start working now. I can't pick up meat. It's the instant I pick up meat, it, um, it gets eaten by my helmet. So it, it does me absolutely no good. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to have an influx of leather here in a minute and monster juice. I had to actually turn the monster juice farm off because it's so productive. It drives me crazy. And the wheat farm is super productive too. Uh, let, let me show you. <laughs> uh, every once in a while I come in here. Uh, I meant to do that outside. I meant to do that outside. Shut your mouth, stupid face. Full. Full. So I just come in here and I grab, you know, like some stacks of that. And come over here and put it in here. Now look how many seeds I have. <coughs> 6,926. Which means I'm going to have to do something with those seeds. Because I'm not using them as fast as I'm making them. Which drives me batty. This is crazy. And this is just super duper productive. And there's really nothing that I can do about it. Uh, short of... You know what I'm going to do? Gimme, gimme. I'm going to have you come over here to the export bus. Um, let's see if I can do this. Export bus, there we go. And let's just... Or import bus, I should say. Which will put all this in here. And then we should have just more of it than we could ever possibly imagine dear god in heaven you know what i'm just going to take that out of there because i need the wheat in there okay <clears throat> to feed the things that i don't even need anymore <laughs> this is crazy it's the lunacy man it's super super duper productive i love this system it works really really well and effectively you know i don't even have to leave here anymore i just let this thing run for about an hour and i come over here and grab 20 levels, um, you know, while, while I work on other things. Shut up. All right, now we come over here, and we get the <laughs> stupid thing. Did you see it? He totally stupid. All right, come here, come here. And these animals are getting loose like a crazy lady. I don't, I mean, like like a crazy lady. Let's come over here. See, there we are, 37, 38, 38 levels. And what I, I went was 14. When I started this episode, yeah, the system works. The system works, people. Literally. Just super duper productive. And I can't spin this juice fast enough. I mean, I can't make in books. Literally, I have to automate books. To, to Look at that. Two, look how fast it's going up. It's crazy. It's crazy effective. Super duper effective. It's super effective. Garth uses common sense. <laughs> it's super effective. Ah! Great Avenger says, start again. Ah, I don't even know what to say, guys. I mean, literally. I wanted to get this done right here for episode 60 so you guys could have, a, have it for your download, which, in all honesty, uh, it really works well. It super duper duper works well. And um, nothing really gets out. And... Uh, I love my I love my power tools. I've got everything turned up, which is now what I'm what I'm about to show you. All right, I'm gonna come down here because this is this is grounds for super awesomeness. Come over here, and I'm gonna show you something that I thought was just literally the coolest thing ever. Are you ready? Hmm. I wanna go. Eh, I don't wanna do that here. 
I don't want to do it now. I'll do it right here. Are you, uh, I'll do it right here. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. What? What? I'll tell you what, people. Boom! Fortune 3, efficiency 4. <laughs> it's just... It doesn't go like that through uh, stone or cobble. But, man, it's the shovel part of it is just super duper efficient. Super duper efficient. I don't even, I just, I, I don't even know where to go. You know what I'm saying? I mean, literally, I can sculpt with that tool. And what I do is I'll come over here and I'll find some stuff. And, oh, I got so excited, too, because I put this in the thing in, in, uh, in here. And it actually took the enchantments. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I had, like, uh, fire protection four on it. I had freaking blast protection on it. I, had, I can't remember what all. I had all kinds of armor enchants on it. And I put it on and they all went away. They all just disappeared. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. So let's come over here. Let's see. I got efficiency three on it. Oh, I got fortune three. Let's see. What was I wanted? Efficiency three. I could probably get a five out of that. Let's do that. Let's see if we got a three. Let's put a three and a three. Come over here. And I put them together. Ah, uh, you can't. Bummer. What's it we got here? Nothing. Efficiency three, efficiency four. Okay, so I, I got to, uh, I guess I got to do something different with that. So let's put those back in there. But the system works fairly well. Uh, the only downside to this whole thing is when I have this open, if there's more than like two rows of book in here, um, the visual display is like super duper laggy. Super laggy. I mean, really, really laggy. So that's how that goes. Look at that book. Wow. it's a lot of poop on that book. Yeah, effectively all I do is I put a stack of books in here. And uh, the export bus puts the books in here, and the import books pulls them out. So, I mean, it's like really super simple. This whole system is just super duper simple. Uh, I want to thank Lee Baron again uh, for hooking me up with this. But literally, I don't even I don't even know what to do with all the monster juice. I got to figure out something else I can do with it. Maybe maybe I could do something else. Oh, and I tried to um, I went over to the the village with bees village. And I tried to, um, what do you call it, uh, kill a villager with a soul shard out in my inventory. Uh, it didn't work. You can't, if you can, I, I, you can't do it with just a regular kill. So, yeah, these guys, um, I'm going to have to breed them the old-fashioned way. Which means that this the system I was talking about earlier, the school for villagers, which I'm going to put like right, right on the other side of where this farm is at. I'm going to build a spawning camp. And then I'm going to use the the uh, chronotyper to move them out so that they're constantly uh, breeding. Constantly breeding. Which means I'm going to need a whole lot of fence. Which means I'm going to need a whole lot of wood. Which means I'm going to need a whole lot of stuff. And then I'm probably going to make a turtle. A world anchor turtle that will go like this way forever. Digging and and placing and digging and placing and digging and placing and digging and placing and then have him turn around and come back and dig all the way one up so that he has the, there's a one fence all the way around so the only thing you should be able to get in is spiders that's all i'm really you know thinking should be able to get through i mean enderman of course can tele teleport and this thing doesn't even accumulate much these guys get on there all the time they're like stupid i don't know how they do it what are we doing over here let me give me give me give me give me give me Get me, get me. Oh, just a little bit there. But yeah, so I mean, this system is working super duper, super duper good. I keep saying super duper, but f for Rizzle, my peoples, for Rizzle. It is what it is. Java update is now available, just in case you were curious. Yeah, Java update is available. I repeat, Java update is available. All right, so, um, you know, I thought to myself, we've got to get all this stuff ready. And uh, I had a little bit of time. Uh, I took my wife to the emergency room the other day. She was having some... Some tightness in her chest and short, shortness of breath. We were all very concerned, but the doctor checked her out and said, uh, you know, they did the EKG and the, and the um, enzyme tests and everything like that. She didn't have a heart attack, so we were all <sighs> very relieved at that, especially me. I was very worried about her. But um, I couldn't really do much recording, but I could do the kind of thing where you sit and play for a few minutes and you go do something. You sit and play for a few minutes and go do something. Because I, she did a lot of sleeping 
today. So I had a lot of time today. As you can see, I did a whole lot of stuff in the last couple of days. But I figured we've got to have something for the episode. And it's already 20 minutes into the episode. So like, what are we going to do, Garth? What are we going to do? Well, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And I thought this would be a great idea. Um, as a matter of fact, I thought this would be a super idea. That, that despawned right as I got to it. What kind of crap is that? But I thought, since we have so much of everything, come over here and look at this right here. And maybe, just maybe, we would experiment with UU to see how we can make our farm even more productive than it already is. And how do you think we could do that? What could we possibly make with UU that would help us out? Because I have a whole bunch of it. And uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can use with it. Now, with UU, let's go like that right there. And uh, I believe you can't right-click on it for patterns. Hmm. A glowstone makes a scenarium part. That's pretty cool. And then we have a scenarium. What is this used for? Enrich scenarium. Scenarium alloy. I don't even know what scenarium alloy is. Is it for real? Is it a real thing? What do you use it in? Ultimate hybrid solar panel. Hmm. I don't know if I could do that. I could definitely do that. In so far as for the power thing, but nah, that's not gonna help. See, I thought I thought it did something else. Oh, man, man. All right. Well, give me a second. Let me think about this. Let's see what we can do. See what we can do. Cause I know, I know you guys didn't tune in just for a freaking update. Like, I haven't I haven't had a whole lot of time to record. I haven't had a little bit of time to play. You know, cause I took the day off to make sure my wife wasn't home alone. But. There you go. So let me let me kick around a few ideas here real fast, and uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Well, I'm trying to sleep. It's like pretty much dark outside. Where is the sleeping part? I want to sleep. Anyway, I guess I'll just do this later. Well, I came up with kind of an idea, and uh, I thought what we could do is since uh, this is going to be episode 60, and there will be a world download that we could get a project started uh, that we would be able to complete by the next time. So we'll, do the, we'll get the groundwork laid out. Um, what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to put a massive um, fenced-in area all the way around this so that, uh, well, I know I'm going to have to light it all up in order for it to really work. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start with the villager program the exchange student program <laughs> as it were so I thought that would be a really good idea we could lay this out and you guys could give me your feedback on it and then we could start working on it for the next 10 episodes for episode 70's download which I'm really excited about because this game is my favorite game in the world ever forever all right so effectively what we need to what we need to understand is the villager mechanics um, I believe, unless I could be mistaken, that if I have, I just did that, I just did exactly one, two, three, four, and this would be five, all right, so, so this effectively is going to be the breeding pen, if you will, one, two, three, four, five. And the, and the mechanics behind that is they will breed until there's a sufficient number for the number of doors in their vicinity. You notice how often it rains here? This is probably the best thing that I've ever built. I mean, because I've got five batteries in the basement over there and three over here, and they're always, always full. Always, always full. So let's go ahead and let's put this up here like that. Rhett U is now playing Mountain Blade Warband. So what I will do is I will put this up here. 
and I will put a villager on it on this pedestal and then I'll put some doors above him with some other dudes down here walking around bumping into each other making babies I think that's the that's the main premise but what but what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have this chronotype is gonna pull kids out I think that will be cool but we need to figure out is how far out do we need to pull the villager the villager kids you know what I'm saying because if the villager kids only get pulled out of this little five by five square they're sitting here the guys on the inside, okay, they're counting them as the number of villagers who need doors, or the doors who need villagers. You know what I'm saying? So we got to figure out how far away we're going to move them. So what I figured I'd do on the chronotyper, and you guys can give me your feedback on this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chronotyper right here. Boom. The flashing one, I believe, is the moving babies. That's exactly right. What I'll do is I'll move the chronotyper here, and it should drop them all on the other side of this wall. And I think what'll work is if I take... Yeah, because this is going to be exactly where I want it. If I take this, this section right here, and I dig it out... Well, that was really fast. I dig it out. The um, I can have like a little chute right there. And you're going to have another wall right here so that they can't go anywhere else. And just have a little chute right there. And uh, <clears throat> at the end of the hallway here, I can put a door. And that door, they will go through. Because that's what they do. Villagers love doors. Like more than anything in the world. They're like, ah, door! Ah, they sing songs about doors. They love doors so much. Hmm... <laughs> Yeah, this, I was running, I was sprinting earlier and, and just mowing the grass down as I was going. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was ridiculous. But I think that might be a good idea. I think that might work. What do you guys think? Let me know if you think that'll work. If you have any ideas, and this is one of the things I like, I really like interacting with you guys, but also like your feedback, either, you know, vocal or video or whatever it is. So if you have like an idea using that premise right there, um, of how I can breed and move villagers away from the breeding point uh, make a video make a video and send me a link and I will watch it and give you and give you uh, give you my opinion of what I think of it which is probably going to be thank you because I love it when you guys help me but I think that would actually I think that would actually work out really really well using this premise right here they're gonna drop the babies and then have them use a door somewhere you know be it here or over there or whatever to get out of the area i think that would be cool they could drop them in water i think that would be all right probably drop them in water and just pushes them down this way and then they see the door and then they go for it you know what i mean we could totally do that <sighs> i think that would work out so th using this premise right here this premise right here five by five with a single chronotyper give me give me an i some ideas for systems i don't care if you got to put in 14 comments because you don't have enough characters but this is what I'm looking for. I want your guys' feedback. I'm going to do a build based on this premise right here that you guys say. I think that would be really cool. To Probably about 10 episodes. I, I honestly think it'll take a little while to build because it's going to require a lot of juggling the mechanics. You know what I mean? About the space I'm going to have to build. Now, I can move this, but this is the premise I want. 5x5 five five with a single villager up top. I think that's how we do it. If I got this part wrong, you guys can correct me on that. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not so proud where I'm going to get mad about that, but that's the premise. I want to breed villagers and then move to babies with one chronotyper. Now, I'll use pistons. I'll use rail carts. Whatever you want, I'll do it. I'll build it. I'll make it happen. This is going to be the community project. You guys are going to be the designers, and I am going to be the builder. But it has to work. It can't not work. If it doesn't not work, if it does not work if it not does not work does not work not does not work then it's no good to me and I will fire you as building designers and you will have to turn in your certificates of designer dude all right I thought this was really cool you could put this glass on the top and they burn <laughs> burn my pretties burn so let me also let me know what you think of this I mean I think this I think this right here looks pretty awesome I 
of all the things I've built, as far as you know, working on this, you see, you see how, so they're not dying. I'll show you why. Watch this. These things are power hogs, which means I'm probably gonna need like nuclear power for this. Look at that. It's kicking, it's kicking it out as fast as it can, and it's just, not, it's drawing so much juice that it can't kill them fast enough. You see where I'm, you see where I'm going with that? Can't kill them fast enough. And my, I found out that um, my pants suit that I wear for pants suiting around, I found that it is um, this new shovel does not uh, look how slow it's they're like they're not even dying. It's the juice, man. It's just draining the juice so fast. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Anyway, yeah, this uh, the new the new shovel. It drains power like crazy. Like the kinetic uh, generator I have in in my pants, uh, it it can't keep up with how fast I'm using. Look, God oh, bless American. This video I've gained so much monster juice. It's not even funny. Oh my God, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. The uh, the suit can't recharge itself fast enough for all the juice I'm using on it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put more power thingies in it more power more power mmm did I show you guys this over here yet actually let me kick these up here real fast and I'll show you these too so I have 510 and 335 and this one just has one uh, cave spider in it that's it I found a, a tree with a spawner under it and I've got creepers I guess I could put a creeper thing in there but I don't need creepers Angry zombie, and there's an empty one. So that's good. I mean, I've got, I've got the, I've got the juice now. This system is just really. I couldn't ask for anything more. I really couldn't ask for anything more. And I know I said we we're going to build something today, but like I said, I really, I've been sitting there thinking about it, and I probably spent a good ten or fifteen minutes just sitting there thinking about it, debating it. And I mean, I get your guys' opinion sometimes, but I never let you pick the build. I, I never let you. Um, Tell me what to build. Now, I gave you a choice on the Atlas, but that was like one of two things. But this is like using this this setup right here. You know, give me some ideas or tell me what you want to see as far as the villager stuff goes. Yeah, I'm gonna, I need to breed oodles of villagers. I mean, I just want them just tripping over each other, getting in the train's way, everything. Because I want to create like mass transit, the whole nine yards. I want this city to be freaking huge. Where are we going? Right up there. Didn't work. Didn't work. Let's try this one. Ah, I missed it. Gimme, 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 gimme. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm semi up here now. But that's what I want. I want. I want you guys to pick it. I want this place to be so massive that it's ridiculous and literally just hundreds i just fell hundreds of hundreds of villagers running around here i want to lag my freaking computer out that's what i want i want i don't need tight compact housing like that i actually kind of regret that layout now it looks nice but it's too organized you know what i mean because villagers are always like freaking house on the side of a hill or some junk so this is what i'm looking for i want just pretty much as far as the eye can see from right here to be village with villagers everywhere Everywhere I am gliding. Yeah. There we go. All right, the sun's killing these guys faster than my my grinder is. Yep, yep. See, this is pretty much superfluous now because I'm running this to power this, but this is so productive that I shut it down therefore just this just runs for nothing and then everything gets everything gets shunted down the the grinder path if you watch here you'll see all kinds of blaze rods coming up there I probably grind 200 300 blaze rods per five minutes it's ridiculous ridiculous I probably could stand to lose a few uh, spawners what are you looking at do you call me fat I want to hear about it. 
and the system is really, really well, uh, really working well. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. All right. So we've got um, the idea for our fence is going to go out this way. Maybe uh, that's what I'll do in between episodes. Is I'll sit down and play around with some, uh, some turtle code, and we'll just load it with fences. A crafting turtle, and it'll just make fences forever this way out to about right here like that and then we'll go that way that should be plenty of room what do you guys think think it should be more i don't even know i feel like i haven't done enough in this episode but i did a whole lot of work in between episodes and i, I guess that's kind of like the way i make it up to you you know what i mean it's okay i'm sorry i wanted to give you guys like it's a, re a really good spawner setup for the download. And I did, and I did get it done. I would like to build it on camera, but I couldn't have headphones on because I wanted to be able to hear if my wife called for me. And I was getting up every two minutes checking on her because I'm worrisome like that. But this works out, man. I really like this system. I'm going to go over it one more time real fast just in case um, I wasn't clear on everything. These power, this one right here, this is only to help pull stuff out. But this basically makes sure that nothing stays in there. And it kind of works in conjunction with that. This is the drop-off point for any excess blaze rods. And any blaze rods that are in the system when this thing is currently working, when they get to this junction, they go this way. I don't even care about that. Um, this is for everything. Armor, weapons, bows, everything. And only uh, bones are not bows not bones but bows go that way bones go this way and then this basically keeps um uh eight stacks in there and i put this on just kind of like a test this is an and circuit just like a regular and gate and what i'm trying to do is see if this actually works you see because it's met it's met that um requirement and see this actually turns off the spawners for a brief period of time so they're just not running forever if this is full. But the problem is the boilers use the the blaze rods in about 10 seconds. So you're not, this isn't going to be on for long. So I was thinking about adding like, um, what do you call them? I totally forgot what they're called. Um, they, they hold it for a little bit. I can't even remember. Let's look, because I know I know I know what they are. I just can't for the life of me think of them right now. Not a multiplexer, not a repeater, not a buffer gate, not a counter. State cell, and what it does is, as long as that stays red. Actually, no, I probably would need a, um, a repeater to extend the charge. The state cell, because well, every time it gets every time it gets a signal, it'll, a signal it'll start, and if it loses a signal, it starts all over. It stops, and then when it gets another signal, it starts all over again. So that's probably not what I want. I have to think about that, but that's pretty good. But it's designed to basically when these things are full and they have each have eight stacks in their in their chest, that it's supposed to shut these down. And what I think, what I, what I'm thinking about doing is having a toggle latch. Um, no, a toggle latch wouldn't work either. Hmm, that's a good question. How would I do that? Because basically, if those have eight stacks in them each, this could probably be shut down for like five minutes, easily. Because I mean, if you think about it, pretty soon I'm just going to be wasting monster juice. Look at that. It's almost full, people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I need books. I need, like, oodles and oodles of books. <gasps> I wonder if I could do reads. Oh, that's what I could totally do. Mm, mm. That's awesome. Okay, I can totally do reads. I think I can do reads. Where's the reads? Reads. Reads. Boom. Boom, he says. Boom. All right, we'll come over here. We're going to try reeds and see. I, see, because I haven't even tried. I haven't even tried reeds. I know you can do, grow trees in the, in the farm or with the uh, planter, but I haven't even tried reeds. Man, holy bolies. 
Come on, get out of here. And we'll just turn this last one into a reed farm. All right, so first thing is first. I am going to come over here and take this. That's not what I wanted. And take this, get rid of that, and put one of those in there. And then come over here and just grab all of this out of that. And then put these in the chest. I hate that pig. That pig's a jerk face. Oh, actually, this needs to be... Mm-hmm. And there. And then this goes in here. Okay, so there they go. All right, so now, that, now it should put them in there. There they are. Okay, so I'm happy. Look how happy I am. I'm smiling. Because what I can do with this system is I can use the import and export buses. I have a few extras um, to actually tell it to make books right over here. How are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Can you do it? Can you do it with it? I'm getting... I'm trying to get rid of the tilled ground. So I know you can do it with trees. Probably not, though. I wonder if we need water in the middle. We might need water in the middle. I don't have water in the middle. Get out of here! Oh, I'm freaking need to... Okay. I'm better. Let's go get us a bucket of water. I don't even have a bucket. I got iron. I need a crafting bench. I don't have a crafting bench. Hey, well, in a second. All right, I would really like benchmarking. Somebody reset my things. All right, so I got a bucket, a water. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I hate it when I do that. That drives me crazy. Okay, now we're better. And we'll go put this in the middle and we'll see what happens. There we go. Get it off me! Alright, so come over here. We'll put the Vasa in the middle. Tell me you're going to work now. Alright, we almost we're going to find out here in a second. Oh, it doesn't work. It works. It totally works. It works. Totally works. Fertilizer. Need it. Need it. Gotta have it. I wonder if it'll work. Because I don't think you can fertilizer them. I've got so much fertilizer. It's ridiculous. I don't even know. I mean, seriously, people. <laughs> this is so effective. I don't even. I don't never ever. I should have never built it on this scale, ever. Getting back together. All right, let's see what happens. Do your thing. Oh, you're gonna do your thing. Ooh. It's not gonna be fast enough. Nope. Can't fertilize it. That sucks. Hmm. Definitely gonna require. I see. You know, I've got enough. You know, I'll probably do two of these. I'm gonna do two of these. I'm gonna do two of these. That's what I'm gonna do. I could probably do three and be all right. Yeah, I'm totally working it now. Halfway through the episode, and then I start building. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, so put that in there, and then grab all of these seeds. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to get down here first. Uh, gimme, gimme. So it was this one over here that I did. Pull out that. Pull out one of these. Put it over here. And then put this up here like that. 
Can I get out of there? You know what I could do is I probably could get a couple of the. Um, what do you can you can use seeds for something I can't remember what it was, but I could probably automate that process. That would be. Let me get you in there because I don't want any of that. And we could use leather. I could have leather go over here. Oh yeah, and use and have it pull leather out and they could auto craft books in the bottom and pump them into a ender chest that it draws from over oh yeah automated enchant or book enchantment mm, oh yeah what i'm thinking about doing is because i have so many books it's just ridiculous having it set up so that it exports um all the the books that I don't want into a chest and they just get void piped because that's just literally more books than I'll ever use. So I'll just go through and I'll get like the, the big enchants, the single enchants, anything that's not a good enchant that I ask for will just get voided. But see, I don't want to do that because what if a good one, like a looting three, unbreaking three drops, you know what I mean? Not looting three, but, um, um, fortune three. What you know? What if like a fortune three unlooting or not fortune three unbreaking five? You know what I mean? What if one of those? Oh God, I'll go crazy! All right, I gotta put some dirt down here. Give me a second. Get me, get me, get me, get me, get me, get me. I don't want to even risk that. I don't want to even risk it. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. All right. Should get out. There we go. Okay. So it won't grow. It won't harvest. Um, mm, fertilize them, but it will grow them. I could probably get away with. Let me get rid of that. Those two, I could probably pull off the fertilizer requirements on them and the managers. Oh, man, I love this system. But I, I've got too much. <laughs> I've got too much to do. Uh, so let me get rid of you. Um, and then we'll get rid of you. And that'll kick everything back to the main. Which I can come over here and put... Do that. And that. And then I'll come over here. And do... That and that that should help that should definitely help where are you guys at gimme give gimme give oh something's going on here every once in a while I gotta do this yep oh that's what it's doing it's trying to kick those things out of there because they're not allowed in there that's what it's doing oh, oh my god let me get rid of that That's not cool, yo. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. Hey, what's up, man? You got loose? That's cool. I'm excited for you. Now get out of here. I'm trying to do some work. I'm trying to do some Minecrafting. Yo, oh, uh, did I show? Oh, I didn't show you. I got to show you this right now. I can't. I can't not show you this. I get super lucky with it. I may have shown you. I, I may. I think I've already shown you my uh, my my power tool, but I did not show you my. Uh, um, <laughs> my my sword to get souls. Are you ready? Are you ready? Bam! Soul Stealer four, Unbreaking three, Sharpness four, Looting three. When I go when I go a hunting with this thing, dear God in heaven, it is insanely insanely powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know this is like gonna be one of those moments where I have to kind of like. Uh, step back because my I'm I'm being too productive and I'm making are you what good you deserve that for the record. I don't even know what happened to you, but whatever it was, you deserved it. Okay, so I've got these guys kicking out those, kicking out these guys, kicking out them. And that should totally work. Seeds in there, seeds in there, seeds in there. Okay. And I could probably get away with doing three 
Nah, I'll test it later. I mean, seriously, people. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Look at that. 8,000 seeds. 8,000 wheat. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I don't even know. Seriously. It's just 8,000 seeds in wheat. And the system works. It works, people. It works. I just want to run around screaming because it works so well. I'm super duper excited about it. What are we doing over here? Trains! Alright. Alright. Oh, get out of the way. We have minimal scrap production, honestly. For the amount of stuff that's going in there, it's not really a lot of scrap production. I could, I could probably do with like a whole wall of these, and that would be good. I think that would be ideal. But I don't know if I have the power requirements for that. Probably do, though. Yeah, it's like, psh, not even bad an eye. Oh my god, it's not even bad an eye. I wonder if I turn off these two right here, what happened? Let's actually turn off those two right there. Let's see what happens. Still nothing. Nothing. Not even bad an eye. Let's turn off these two. Yeah, there you guys go. Die, scumbag. Still not doing anything. Let's turn it up to 100. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Oh my god. That's good. Alright. So, generating more power than I'm using. Uh, more wheat than I'm using. More seeds than I'm using. More monster juice than I'm using. I'm basically super duper efficient right now. I'm just Captain Efficient a lot. Um, this is almost full. Um, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, this episode has been a whole lot longer than I wanted it to be. But, and I honestly <laughs> didn't do anything. Shut your mouth. Bam. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this up and uh, edit it and uh, put it on the YouTubes. And I'll be, uh, I guess, talking to you guys tomorrow because that's when we'll go up. Hey, 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 hey. Bam. Chainsaw. Come on, dude. Bring it. Bring it. I ain't even afraid of you anymore. Where are you at? Bring it. Oh, oh, did you get some? I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to get you in the face with my chainsaw of doom and, and passion. Doom and passion. Yeah. Boom. Oh, hey, hey. Bring it. Oh, hey. I like that. I'll take it. You know, that's the first legitimate ender pearl I think I've gotten in about 20 episodes. <laughs> Holy crap, man. I usually just make them with the medium stone. So that's where they come from. I didn't know that. No, I got a couple of comments I want to read. Um, Great the Avenger says, almost 60 Garth. Well done and congrats. He also said, yay, an extra episode would be likey. And Lee Barron was right. He did, uh, uh, he, he said, I misspoke. I meant uh, export bus. Uh, but I think I figured it out because uh, I was like trying to do exactly what he said because I didn't want to get it wrong. <laughs> and I got it wrong. So I got to teach me. Yeah, but I really did appreciate the help he gave me. That was like super duper helpful, which is, I guess, indicative of what help would be. Super duper helpful. You see what I'm... And he also said that they work well with routers. But the problem with routers, um, routers don't really put anything in any specific place. Um, he said the ME would work well with routers. Um, yeah... It would definitely cut down the amount of export buses I need, but it would also the books would just be wherever. So, and I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna put them wherever. I mean, because once I get the system automated, um, I'll be able to instead of putting an um, export bus on it, I'll put a router on the side, and then I'll just put the the storage buses in there, because the storage buses will allow me to read and access what's in there, and I can and I can sort it down where you at where you at storage bus right there. Um, it requires an ME interface, which I have 14 of those because I made them thinking I could f feed it in and it didn't work. So, shut up. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, I made a lot of it, uh, interfaces. So, <laughs> that was crazy. And uh, Abdullah Al Maskari says, you are the best. And I thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Your name was surprisingly easy to say. I usually get those wrong. I probably got it wrong, and I'm being all conceited, and it was stupid. So, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get your name wrong. <laughs>
get it wrong. All right, so I figure from here, this would be a great place to sign off because it's super duper loud and super duper annoying. And I'm going to throw poop because that is what monkeys do. They throw poop. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys stopping by for the episode 60, which uh, download link will, will be in the uh, description beneath. And gliding. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm really looking excited. I, I'm really looking excited. I'm looking forward to the villager build. Because uh, this stuff is all pretty much self-sufficient now. Um, it's It runs itself. I don't have to do anything. Except use monster juice. That's it. Which is funny, because this is to power this. Is to, to power this. Is to power this. Is to power that. Is to power this. Over here. Well, these also power it. But this is the premise behind all of it. This All this together to do this. And... <laughs> I'm running out of books. I don't have any reeds. I'll probably have enough leather because I've got that thing set up where I'm generating quite a bit of leather. I'll actually, it's all going into the... Uh, it's all going... In, I was going to sign off from up there. I totally remember that. But I can't say goodbye to you guys. I just I can't quit you. I can't quit you, YouTube. I can't quit you. Let's look and see how much uh, leather I have. Let's look and see. Only 15 stacks. Hmm. Why is that? I think I have more than that. Oh, there's 21 right there. Strange. I'll have to ramp up my cow production. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, but you only need one leather for a book, so... That actually works out for me in the long run. Welcome to the new age. Get that stupid song on my mind. Look at this. I got up here. I got up here in my super thigh of death. Yeah, Atlas is coming along a little bit a little bit more now. I got that other bone structure laid out. Shut up. I'm trying to do the YouTubes. <laughs> Alright guys, well I appreciate you. Appreciate the snot out of you. You need to take care of each other. Hold hands. You know, don't get lost. Stay together. Have a sign, coder, sign, countersign, you know, all, that, all that stuff, you know. Secret words that only you two know. Because security is key. Security is key, people. I hurt you in the face. Minecraft. Download in the description. Lee Bear 1980 helped me immensely. This is a piece of wheat. It show sure is. This is a landmark occasion. Landmark.